In this lecture um, segment, if you will, we're going to be installing Active Directory on a um, well, Active Directory client rather on a uh, on Commvault. I know in the lab it doesn't have that, and we're going to actually be installing the Active Directory from the Active Directory domain controller. So, like any other install, we're going to click on Tools, Add, to Remove Programs, Install Software. The wizard, of course, the wizard, the wonderful wizard. Next, uh, we're going to do a Windows because it's Active Directory. We're going to do a manual select. We're going to import from Active Directory. We're going to actually install Active Directory uh, client, if you will, actually. So we'll do from garlic food, garlic food. Okay, and uh, okay, that's weird. Wonder why it didn't prompt me to. To use my username. Mm. Anyway, all right. At any rate, so now you see we have we have the console. We've obviously installed the Linux media agent, the Windows media agent, not the ComServe part two, uh, and then this is the so this one here. That's the storage, um, the storage device essentially. Uh, open filer, but we're going to be installing the Active Directory Domain Controller or on the Active Directory Domain Controller if you will. We're going to click on Add. We're going to click on Next because you see it there. Okay, so uh, for this one you're going to put a Domain Controller. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobinit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.